Hi, we are going to talk about molarity. I'm going to give you two examples and give you an explanation of molarity. Molarity is a term for concentration, and as chemists, we use it often. Um, here you have it, molarity, and here are the units. It's moles of solute divided by liters of solution. So remember, the solute is a substance that gets dissolved. The solvent is what does the dissolving. Water is our number one polar solvent. And the solution is just the combination of the solute and solvent. So let's say that I have salt water. Salt would be the solute, water is the solvent, and the solution is the combination of the salt and the water together. Okay, um, so let's say that you are told uh, that you have a 1.2 molar sodium uh, chloride solution. This is how you read it. That means that you have 1.2 moles of sodium chloride for every one liter of that total solution. Um, I always, when I see molarity, break it apart into moles per liter because then I can wrap my head around it and I can do the math dimensional analysis stoichiometry that I need to. I always break this apart. Um, in addition to that, in, in addition to this, um, when you're given the molarity, it doesn't mean that you always have one liter. You could have 200 mils of it, but the ratio, that's a ratio, that would stay the same. Okay, that would be, um, that would stay the same. All right, so let's jump in and look at a couple of examples for you dealing with molarity. Questions that you might be asked. Here's your first one. 26.3 grams of a sodium bicarbonate. You could also say sodium hydrogen carbonate. I think that's how people are saying it more often. Um, you have that many grams and you're going to dissolve it in 200 mils. Now this is important. The solution, this doesn't mean that I measure out 200 mils and then add the uh, solute, no. This is the combination of the water and the solute together has to equal 200 mils. That's a mistake that students will make. Um, I'll show you in a minute how to make this. Just know that when you're given um, the final amount, that's the combination of your water and whatever your, your particular substance is. Okay, so how can we find the molarity? I go to units. I need moles of solute and liters of solution. Well, I've got grams and mils. We're going to do a couple of conversions. Let's go ahead and convert grams to moles because remember, that's my solute. That's what's going to be dissolved. So I've got 26.3 grams of a sodium hydrogen carbonate. We've got to go from grams of that sodium hydrogen carbonate to moles. Sodium hydrogen carbonate. So one mole, and if we add up the molar mass for this, it is 84.01, 84.01 grams. Okay, grams will cancel 26.3 divided by 84.01, and we get 0.313 moles, 0.313 moles. Nice, there are my moles, that's what I need for moles. Next, they gave us mils, but we need liters. So we need to take the 200 mils and just go from mils to liter. There are a thousand milliliters in one liter, so that will give us um, 0 0.200 liters. Nice! Notice liters, moles. Now all I have to do is plug it in to my ratio, mole over liter. So we will have 0.313 moles divided by 0.2 liters, and that is going to give us 1.57 big M molar, 1.57 molar sodium hydrogen carbonate. Now, a follow-up question that you'll be asked, you'll find the molarity, and then it will say, what's the concentration of the ions? Let's go back to just one compound of sodium hydrogen carbonate, okay? If I have just one of this NaHCO3, and it dissociates, okay, it's going to be 100% soluble, 100% dissociates, and what breaks apart in water, it's going to form Na plus 
and HCO3 minus. Look at this ratio. One compound produces one sodium, one hydrogen carbonate. If I had two of those, two of this sodium hydrogen carbonate, I'd have two sodium and two hydrogen carbonate. If I had one mole, I'd have one mole of sodium, one mole of hydrogen carbonate. If I have 1.57 molar sodium hydrogen carbonate, it means I have 1.57 molar sodium ion and 1.57 molar hydrogen carbonate. Now, if this has been a subscript two, for every one mole of this, I have twice, I would have twice the number of sodium. That means that this would be doubled to 3.14 um, molar. So you just look at the subscript and that's going to be the ratio with the moles inside that compound. For example, if we had um, a, this was a sodium carbonate like that, you would have two sodium ions for every one carbonate. Uh, so in that case, if I had 1.57 of this, that's when I'd have double the sodium ion. So there's a follow-up question that you could be asked. Let's do this next question, and honestly, this is the most practical. This is the most practical of all um, our molarity. Oh, guess what, you guys? My husband just came in. I'm gonna let you meet him. Here, come say hi. You'll like him, he's great. He's an electrical engineer, not as great as a chemist, but still pretty awesome. Wanna wave and say hey? Hi. Hey, special first time that he's in one of my videos. <laughs> okay, we are going to do, um, how can we make a concentration? So let's say that you go into the lab and you are told that you need 0 0.02 molar of silver nitrate and you only need 250 mils of it. You said, okay, go, go make it. <laughs> um, well, the 250 mils, that's not going to be hard. You're going to have your salt and you'll add water until the final volume reaches 250 mils. The real question is, how much do you add? Um, now, I can't measure in moles, I have to measure in grams. So ultimately, I've got to find grams. That's what we're looking for. How many grams of silver nitrate do I add to a total solution of 250 mils? Remember what I said, I always break out molarity. That is 0 0.02 moles of silver nitrate for every one liter of my solution. Okay. This is where it opens up for me. I see moles of silver nitrate. If I can get those moles by themselves, that means I can use molar mass to go from moles to grams. So I let the units do all of the work for me. I've got to get rid of liters. There it is, right there. Um, if I convert this from mils to liters, um, remember I just divide by a thousand. I'm going to move that decimal three places. I'm going to multiply by 0 0.250 liters. Now check out this. Liters cancels. I'm left with moles. Yay, that's what I wanted. So notice I just took the volume I want, multiplied to cancel out liters. The units are helping me through this. Now we're going to go from moles to grams. One mole of silver nitrate is going to be Let's look how many grams. That is 169.9 grams. Check it out, moles of silver nitrate cancels. So to do the math, 0 0.02 times 0 0.25 times 169.9, and that tells us that we will need 0 0.850 grams of silver nitrate. So, if I take 0 0.850 grams of silver nitrate, put it in water, fill the water up to 250 mils, shake that up, guess what? The final concentration is going to be 0.02 molar. Now, the follow-up question that you'll be asked on this is, how do you make it? So this is how you do it. Here's your scientific, your experimental technique. You're going to first put a small amount of water in the bottom. And here's the reason why. Uh, when you pour your salt in, the silver nitrate, if you put it in first, it sticks on the bottom, which of course I've done, and you will try and shake and dissolve for a long time. <laughs> so put a small amount of distilled water, then you're going to measure out 
right here, the 0.85 grams of silver nitrate. You pour that salt in here, get a little bit of water and um, wash that out to make sure that you don't have any of that, those uh, crystals, any of the silver nitrate left over. You wanna make sure that it all goes into the volumetric flask. And then with that small amount of water and the silver nitrate, you shake, 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 shake. And of course you have on safety glasses, shake, 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 dissolve, dissolve, dissolve. Once it's dissolved, then you add the water to that line right there. You can barely see it. Um, that is called bringing it to volume. Now what I do is I usually will add the water till I get to the skinny part of the neck and then I'll get a dropper and I drop, 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 drop so that I can hit the meniscus right at that line. If you go above the line, there's nothing you can do but to start over. Um, so you want the meniscus to hit right there and then perfect. I added 0.85 grams of the silver nitrate, brought it to volume to 250 mils, and guess what? That concentration is the 0 0.2, 0 0.02, 0 0.02 molar. Um, one last thing, students will ask me, well, Mrs. Lobb, this is a ratio. Can I just use cross products? And the answer is yes. I prefer to use the dimensional analysis. Um, in the long run is going to be the easiest way to do it but I do wanna show you how you can use this um, as a ratio. If it helps you kind of as a step, uh, step toward doing the dimensional analysis. Uh, so this is a ratio, 0.02 moles of the silver nitrate for every one liter. Well, if I only want 0 0.250 liters, right, the 250 mils, what's the moles right there? So that would be your unnumber, unknown number of moles because this is just a ratio, and then you could go from moles to grams. That, that totally works. All right, molarity, good work. Have a nice day.